Hello, this is Father Jason, and I thought I would take an opportunity today to talk about some of the things that have been going on in the winter time, especially with the uh, building projects and with our capital campaign. Thanks to you, we have been able to do some really good things around the property here at Maturity BVM Church, and we have more things in store. Of course, in the winter time, things would seem to be a little bit quieter in terms of projects. However, things are still being done, and more is planned in the spring and summer months. At this time, I would just like to extend my heartfelt gratitude to all who have participated in this campaign thus far. Our pledges are somewhere in the neighborhood of 1.7 million dollars and just to think about that for a moment that is truly impressive thank you all so much for your consideration for your prayers and for those wonderful pledges as well this is a three-year campaign and know that there is still time to participate but i begin our journey here at this mural this was um, designed for our Welcome Back event back in August of 2021, and many parishioners uh, took little tiles and placed them on the mosaic, and this lily is a sign of the hope of good things to come, that the resurrection is, is within reach that even as we as a church will be preparing to celebrate Lent shortly, that the lily symbolizes that Easter hope that we continue to hold within our hearts all throughout the year. Throughout the winter months, we have been working on the windows of the church. We have done some repairs on the stained glass windows this is one of the panels that has been taken out for repair. As the panels are taken out, they look at the leading and also to make any repairs to the glass. So as you can see at this window, one of the panels has been taken out. The glass company will return sometime later this month to perhaps return this panel and take out others as they are needed. This is one of the panels that was taken out and repaired. Uh, I remember this window coming up and down the stairs and seeing that it was truly in need of some attention and you can readily see that the window looks so much better now that it has um, received some of the um, some of the repairs that, that were needed for it. As we now come outside to the same window, you can see that there are different kinds of glass covering these windows. Some of the layers look merely like plexiglass, while others look like a um, fog type of glass. Um, in the springtime these exterior windows will be replaced and I'm really excited about this phase of the project because um, it truly will make a difference that we will have glass that will protect these windows that will keep the lead from getting overheated and help moderate the temperature do a better job keeping out the dirt and dust but also allow for some ventilation and as a bonus the glass will all be uniform, it will all be the same type of glass and not just replacing piecemeal as, as needed. And also too, the outlining of the windows as you see is white, it will now be a, uh, a darker outline. And I think it will be um, really attractive and hopefully um, prevent against um, some of the rusting that you may see. And this panel right here. I have a funny story that one of our young parishioners used this door right here as a backdrop for his senior pictures that he 
liked the rustic uh, nature of this door, believe it or not, and wanted to use it as a backdrop for a senior picture. It's like, okay. Uh, the doors have been ordered. We're waiting um, for some nicer weather for the doors to be hung. It's not just the door itself, but it's also the condition of the frames as well. They need to be looked at just a little bit closer. We want the weather just to get a little bit warmer so that we can hang the door and adjust for any expansion or contraction, but these doors will be replaced soon. The last time I shared an update with you, this sign was being installed. We began work on this sign in November and it really turned out beautiful with the uh, way that the gold letters stick out from the blue background and really even more than the camera can depict them. Um, just a beautiful deep blue and at night we have light upon it. The base has since been completed as well and uh, this will look really attractive when in the springtime when we start um, um, continuing with the landscaping as well. Now I'm in one of the rooms that few people have visited but I'm in the upstairs of the rectory. This is um, one of our guest rooms and actually our only guest room at this time. We have uh, four rooms up here and three of them are occupied but here in our guest room um, I wanted to particularly show you the windows. These windows are set for replacement and We've gotten in some bids and we want to replace the windows. As you can see, these windows are original to the building. They have um, crank mechanisms and they open outward. And then they have a little locking device. There's a few windows that uh, the cranking device no longer works. So we had to make sure they were closed and... Uh, permanently locked. As we look towards the shady side here, we can also see just the condensation that's building um, between the panes of glass and so they're no longer providing the uh, protection from the elements that they once uh, provided. And also too, sometimes we you'll get a little nervous and asking for things for our home but the rectory not only is the home of our priests and um, viatorians in the area but it's also um, there is office space for seven people in this building as well and so we believe that by replacing the windows we will have better protection but we also believe that it will um, provide a degree of um, energy savings as well. And again, this is the sitting room in our guest suite. And again, you can see that condensation on the windows. So we just wanted to give you a idea of what we have been up to in these winter months and in the springtime we are poised to continue forth um, not only with our capital campaign but carrying out uh, many of the projects that we have planned and that this uh, capital campaign will address. This is all being done thanks to your generosity and this will help us be able to do these projects um, with the um, with forethought, with with planning. Do them proactively, trying also to find the best bids and the best way of completing them. And thanks to your generosity, also 
we are able to do these projects without um, having to finance them and that truly will be helpful in the coming years uh, we will be glad that we have done these things and they're no longer in the um, category of future projects or something we'll have to do one of these days the time is now and thank you so much for your participation for making this happen it is um, your generosity of heart and um, it will help us to carry out our mission here in Bourbon A for many years to come and for future generations thank you again may God bless you